Iowa State University plant scientist Patrick Schnabel quickly described how he measured the time it takes for two kinds of corn plants to move water from their roots to their lower leaves and then to their upper leaves. This was no technical precise poster talk. This was a researcher interested in working with new low-cost easily produced graphing-based sensors on tape that can be attached to plants and can provide new kinds of data to researchers and farmers. With a tool like this we can begin to breed plants that are more efficient in using water he said. That's exciting. We couldn't do this before. But once we can measure something we can begin to understand it. The tool making these water measurements possible is a tiny graphing sensor that can be taped to plants researchers have dubbed it a plant tattoo sensor. Graphene is a wonder material. It's a carbon honeycomb just an atom thick, it's great at conducting electricity and heat, and it's strong and stable. The graphene on tape technology in this study has also been used to produce wearable strain and pressure sensors including sensors built into a smart glove that measures hand movements. Researchers described the various sensors and the simple and versatile method for patterning and transferring graphene-based nanomaterials to create the flexible sensors in a paper featured on the cover of the December 2017 issue of the journal Advanced Materials Technologies. The research has been primarily supported by the Faculty Scholars Program of Iowa State's Plant Sciences Institute. Leong Dong, an Iowa State Associate Professor of Electrical and Computer Engineering is the lead author of the paper and developer of the technology. Shevel Orin, a doctoral student in electrical and computer engineering, is a co-author who helped develop the sensor fabrication technology. To do that the researchers have developed a process for fabricating intricate graphing patterns on tape. Dong said the first step is creating indented patterns on the surface of a polymer block either with a molding process or with 3D printing. Engineers apply a liquid graphing solution to the block filling the indented patterns. They use tape to remove the excess graphene. Then they take another strip of tape to pull away the graphene patterns, creating a sensor on the tape. The process can produce precise patterns as small as 5 millionths of a meter wide just a twentieth of the diameter of the average human hair. Dong said making the patterns so small increases the sensitivity of the sensors. The process for example produced a detailed image of Iowa State's cyclone mascot that was less than 2 millimeters across. I think this is probably the smallest cyclone, Dong said. In the case of plant studies, the sensors are made with graphene oxide a material very sensitive to water vapor. The presence of water vapor changes the conductivity of the material, and that can be quantified to accurately measure transpiration, the release of water vapor, from a leaf. The technology could open a new route for a wide variety of applications the authors wrote in their paper including sensors for biomedical diagnostics for checking the structural integrity of buildings for monitoring the environment and after appropriate modifications for testing crops for diseases or pesticides. At last. Like video and subscribe us see you next time.